Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Coffee with Will on what's the last day of February 2019. I like to come on board usually after my uh, morning routine to just have a virtual imaginary conversation with those of you that want to be on board with some of the things I'm struggling with or working with or um, wanting to share with you just to you know so that we're on this journey together we can help each other we can sort of meet virtually and exchange our ideas and maybe something I say will help you maybe something you say in response to me will help me and so anyway that's what coffee with will is about I have been on a journey we're all on a journey right but I've been trying a gratitude practice for the last week you know this thought that for some people the universe is a malevolent place and for some it seems like it's such a benevolent place and you wonder why some people are just so filled with love and life and they see the universe as this wonderful place and I think it was Wayne Dyer who said something like it's all the same universe it's just depends on our beliefs how we see the universe it's if we believe it's a benevolent universe then it is a benevolent universe so I've been doing this thing and I want to pass on with you if you started again uh, where in my journal I write down uh, things I'm grateful for. So the basic exercise is to think of one person that is, and focus on them and what what sensations come up and remembering seeing the world as a benevolent place. So when you have those things written down and you... Hi, Todd. I'm passing your, your place right now. How's it going? James Long. So when you are writing these things down and then you say to yourself, you know what? I want to go see these beautiful things out in the world around me. You start seeing them there and it becomes this really fun game. It's an enjoyable game that you can play all day long as time passes where... You, you, you say to yourself, you know, I want to go out and find those beautiful, sensual, sensational uh, things, exciting things that make the world a beautiful place. And then you start seeing the world as, as benevolent. It really is quite amazing. Not that you're not going to have challenges in it or anything, but um, so, and then you start writing down other gratitudes that you want to revisit at another time. And what I've been doing is I've been meditating and reading them right after my meditation, just kind of reading over what I wrote the night before. And then at night, right before I go to bed, I pull it out, I read over the, the gratitudes, and I think about those people, I think about those things I'm grateful for, but right before I go to bed. And if I ever have trouble going to sleep, I visualize, I tune in, in a very short period of time, um, you start to see the world as benevolent. And one of my teachers said, until you make it, and it's kind of like when you find these little things, you may only start what I was going to say was that instead of being grateful for things and people, one day, according to my teacher, you'll wake up and find that you're just grateful. Just, just, you just have pure gratitude for nothing at all. Just, you just feel grateful. So I'm, I'm curious and open-minded to that possibility. And I, I'm really enjoying this game because I think any, any human being has this available to them. This way our
of it. It's been very helpful. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And for those of you that um, are followers of what I do musically, thanks for coming on board. Thanks for your support. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the community that we have and that we've created. I've been, one of the things that, that this gratitude practice has opened up is just thinking of all the wonderful shows in the past. I was looking at uh, our, song, our collaboration with Sean Colvin in 2004 and just so grateful for the musicians. Um, I had this footage of the rehearsal and seeing everybody working together almost 15 years ago, really working to make that come off well and being focused and loving the music of Sean Colvin. We're all such great fans. I remember being on the road and listening to Sean Colvin's music, being on the road and what a you know, it just, again, when you revisit some of these memories, it brings these positive chemicals, they come pour out into your body. And the thing is, is that, uh, this is what I've heard, you know, if you're a brain scientist, correct me, but the brain doesn't know actually the difference between what is actually happening now in the moment and what you visualize and and um, the pictures and, the, and what you create in your mind. It doesn't know the difference. So if you bring up these gratitudes, if you bring up these positive memories, that is what your now is, basically. <laughs> so, so the brain is very powerful. What you focus on is what you create. And what do you guys think about that? I'm kind of, I've gone into a little bit of a rambling mode, but I appreciate you being here. Oh, I know I was going to say, if you are interested in what we're doing, hey mom, when the strings attached world, we are, Karen and I are in the midst of recording a Celtic album. And if you look on our, any of our pages, you'll see I posted uh, a sample of a song called The Parting Glass, an ancient song, beautiful lyrics. I learned this song from Gurf Morlix, who is an amazing producer and songwriter here in town. He's worked with Lucinda Williams and all kinds of people. He's a really gentle, amazing guy. I guess he's worked with Ray Wiley Hubbard and we, I learned that song, The Parting Glass. If you scroll through our feeds, you'll see a link to a sample there with orchestral music, backing it up, arrangements, strings, bass, amazing guitar playing, amazing soulful, heart-filled singing from Karen Mall. And I'm off to get some notation paper. I am low on notation paper for that project. live. So it's going to be called A Sailor Returns to the Sea. It's a, an acoustic follow-up to Karen's Dark-Eyed Sailor. Connection. Let me see if I can. There's one person watching right now. I'm headed to get some notation paper since the one that I've been using for the past year has essentially been filled up with arrangements for strings attached or with the Karen Mall and Will Taylor project. I'm being present to my feelings right now from passing that cop. I have a kind of exaggerated response to cop cars. Anybody else have that? Pulling in here at a straight music company to get some music notation paper. How's everybody doing this morning? I see one more person come came on board. So I've been having this fun gratitude practice and a lot of the what's been coming up for me is the musicians that I've worked with over the years that I don't necessarily see that often. People like Glenn Rexash and Brad Evelsizer and Steve Zirkel and how much I appreciate them and how much I appreciated their involvement in the Will Taylor and Strings Attached project 
over the years and what they gave to that project and the really good times that we had together. Sean Colvin show, the music of Led Zeppelin. It's been great. And I'm here early and straight music is not open yet. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, so if you've made it to the end of this video, I'd really like to know if you made it to the end of this video, if you're going to sign up to get notified when our new Karen Mall and Will Taylor Celtic album, A Sailor Returns to the Sea, is going to go live, you can go to karenandwillmusic.com and go to the right side where it says learn more. Click there. Send me a note that you heard this and if this was impactful or helpful to you in your life, I would love to know it. I'd love to hear a conversation. I'd love to start a conversation with you. Um, thanks a lot for watching and grateful for you for your uh, attention and presence in my life hope to see you out there in the real world take care have a great day